Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the season five, week three leak challenges and covering those. This gameplay here is one where I go off and get quite a few kills in Tilted, um, but I didn't actually get the victory royale, but it is still a pretty exciting gameplay. If you guys don't know on my channel, for the start of season five, I've been giving away some codes people can use for V-Bucks or to get the battle pass or different stuff like that. If you want to enter, all you have to do is basically be subscribed to my channel, leave down in the comment section down below, basically what device or console you play on and also drop a like on this video i'll show some of the latest winners from uh today and yesterday up on the screen right now and we'll cover everything to do with the week five or, or not week five season five week three challenges but before i get into that i want to let you guys know that i have a, a sponsor for tonight's video and it's something that i a company that i'm very excited to be working with and something that i think you guys will enjoy so we'll get into the sponsor message and then i'll be right back and uh, talk to you guys about these challenges today's sponsor is world of warships blitz now now, this is an awesome game available for iOS and Android. Basically, you can play as destroyers, aircraft carriers, cruisers, and battleships with a ton of different nations while leveling up your ships. It is a crazy good game and gives you that same experience that the fan favorite game has on PC, now on the mobile version. Just like the PC version, the combat experience combines salt water, fire, and steel as you engage in fierce naval warfare like ever before. You're able to take the helm, commander, crush the enemy, and dominate the ocean. And Right now, if you guys are able to download this game through my link in the description, my promo link, basically you'll get a bonus which applies to each player. You'll earn extra silver and also be able to get extra experience and level up your ships a lot faster through that link in the description. I definitely think this is an awesome game for mobile. It gives you that crazy good game and experience which is hard to find on the mobile platform, but I really feel like this game is one to do it. Check it out with the link down in the description. I think it's something that you guys definitely should give it a try and you probably will fall in love with it if you guys do it to play this game link down below sign up get those bonuses and let's get into the video all right guys let's get right into it and talk about these week three challenges for season five now i have to put a disclaimer these are the challenges that have been found in the files but because of the fact that these challenges don't actually come out for a couple of days we don't know if a couple of these challenges could be changed or altered epic games likes to change challenges last minute sometimes they even change uh, one of the challenges like a couple hours before it came out so these are the challenges as of right now but if when they come out maybe one or two of them are changed maybe maybe they're not changed maybe they are but i just to put that disclaimer that the leak challenges sometimes they will epic games will make some changes but these are what are in the files right now let's let's get right into it first challenge is going to be to do damage to passengers in vehicles now it says a thousand damage which seems absolutely ridiculous i'm not sure if they will alter this uh this number but basically what you have to do is do damage to passengers in vehicles which i'm assuming is the atk i'm not sure if the shopping cart will count for this one as well i really don't know about that but that's what we have as far as this challenge it seems like this is kind of going to be a harder challenge to do and uh, this is one of the challenges that will be available to everyone i believe not just the battle pass users and the way that I think people are going to be able to do this one easiest is probably do 50 v 50 um, and just be doing damage to people in carts or maybe just land over at Paradise Palms. A thousand damage does seem kind of some does seem kind of ridiculous. In my opinion, I bet you they will alter this uh, amount and maybe move it down to like 250 or 500 before this challenge comes out. But that's what we have as far as the first challenge of this week. The next challenge is going to be to destroy specific targets. Now, this one, we don't really know what this means. Of course, every week we have a challenge that's, you know, search lightning bolts, search Fortnite letters, find the hungry gnomes. And that's basically what this week's challenge is going to be, is to destroy specific targets. Now, we don't really know what this is going to be. And it'll probably we'll probably see more about this coming soon to the game um, and uh, what these targets are. But of course, there's stuff that's going to be located around the map. They're going to have to find and destroy um, as far as right now we don't have too much info on it but once this challenge does come out of course like I cover every single week I will be covering this challenge in a video on my channel and basically giving you guys a fast and easy guide so you don't have to spend all your time looking for these targets I will give you guys all the locations and different stuff like that um, if this is the challenge for this week and they don't end up changing it in the files that's what we have as far as this one it seems like this would be something pretty cool and you know we've had rubber duckies we've had hungry gnomes we have these challenges that are kind of uh, insane and that's what this week's variant of it is going to be. Next challenge is going to be to use a launch pad. Now, this is a pretty easy one. You simply have to use one launch pad, 
very very easy challenge i'm not sure why it doesn't really add up those first two challenges are so hard and then this one is so easy but use a launch pad is pretty easy we've ha have had challenges like this before um, we had search a supply llama which was a lot harder we had um use a shopping cart we've had challenges like this before you basically have to just do one thing and of course this is pretty simple you find a launch pad you use it there shouldn't be any tips that you need for this this one and uh, that's what the challenge is going to be fairly fairly simple right there Next is going to be the search chest challenge. Now, if you guys are familiar with Fortnite challenges at all, you will know every single week for the last couple seasons, they do one challenge where you have to search for seven chests in a specific location. This week's location is going to be Fatal Fields. So I'll show a map up on the screen right now, and this will show you guys all of the different locations where chests will be at Fatal Fields. Now, I actually know Fatal Fields like the back of my hand. Um, it's one of my favorite landing spots when I'm playing for wins. When I'm playing for kills, it's all about Tilted Towers or maybe even a little bit of reach detail mostly tilted towers but when i'm playing for wins fatal fields is one of my go-to spots and of course i'm guessing that everyone will be landing in either like the stable the barn or the house but there are some chest locations scattered around where maybe you can get the like like i say every single week the best strategy for this one is to find those chests that are scattered around and basically do that a little bit smarter um and, and you know be strategic with it and that's what I, I think you guys should do for this one but you guys could see up on the screen at those locations next challenge is going to be for the battle star and now the battle star challenges uh obviously it's just to either search between or to follow a treasure map and these alternate every single week this one is going to be to follow the treasure map because of course last week was the search between this one is to follow the treasure map in flesh factory and of course this is one that you don't really have to worry about because i'm going to be making a video on this one as soon as it's probably even before the challenge is out um in a couple days here and showing you guys the exact location to where you'll find that that battle star these are the challenges that even if you don't complete all the challenges or, or aren't full into the grind landing on a specific location and grabbing a free battle star is just so damn easy for a free level on the battle pass even if you've already maxed the battle pass some xp even if you don't or no you think you do have to have the battle pass for this challenge but that's a really easy one and of course i'll cover the location on that like i do every single week next challenge is going to be three eliminations with explosives now they have been so obsessed with explosives and different stuff like that lately in fortnite it's always in the challenge it's explosives 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 this one is to get three Three eliminations now i'm assuming last time when it was with an explosive weapon i wasn't sure if grenades and stuff would count but they actually did so obviously this one it's called just eliminations with explosives c4s grenades sticky bombs whatever it's all it's most likely all going to count and it should be fairly self-explanatory and simple um, my tip for this one is basically just use the rpg or the grenade launcher or even the c4 the c4 is so overpowered it's like it can take down it's kind of actually ridiculous how fast the c4 can take down an entire building um it is actually insane um but that's basically what you can do for those eliminations um it's not too hard you just have to get three eliminations with explosives which if you carry explosives which you should should. you know i usually won't carry grenades or, or i will carry c4 but i usually won't carry grenades or sticky uh grenades because i really don't think they're worth that spawn in your inventory unless you don't really have anything else to carry um, but definitely rpgs and grenade launchers are a go-to for that one next challenge and the final one is going to be to get three eliminations in haunted hills now this one th these ones are like challenges that are pretty similar every single week they sort of just change the point of interest or the name location whatever you want to call it this one of course last week or i guess you could say this week was to get the three eliminations at um uh, at paradise palms and then it's going to be haunted hills now this is interesting because haunted hills and paradise palms i kind of don't like when they do these locations on places that are so far away from the middle of the map because it kind of kills the flow of the game and that's something that i think epic games should you know before is a really really good game and epic games is of course geniuses and, and doing a great job with it but one thing that i think that they could do, definitely work on is making the challenges and understanding the influence of these challenges like i remember when risky reels challenge was out i, I referred to this one all the time because it was so damn crazy what people would do is literally everyone went to go search the chest of risky reels and by the end of the first circle there was literally 10 people left so the game was unplayable to people not doing the challenges and i think that epic games in the future you know this is going to mean like 15 to 20 people are going to go to haunted hills so the first couple days when these challenges are out for people trying to play the rest of the map normally it's going to definitely hurt gameplay and that's one thing that is sort of of course i love the challenges i love how they're fresh and new how they innovate and do the battle stars and different stuff like that of course i cover it always on my channel um but i really think that that's something they should keep in mind a little bit more i think they 
do. Um, Haunted Hills is kind of like a dead area nowadays. Not too many people go to Haunted or Junk Junction. Those are like areas like in solos, I think. Um, people will go and like that are playing for the win. Um, but they aren't, those areas aren't as hyped as they used to be now with all of the new locations. And especially with Paradise. If you're going to an area far out away on the map, Paradise is that one. But that's basically it. Those are the weak challenges. Like I said, they could be changed before they come out. But that's what we have as far as now. Looks like a pretty good week. Um, some of them are a bit difficult, but the majority of them shouldn't be too hard. And I'll have, of course, a full guide and everything once the challenges are out. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you guys are new. Smack a like. And have a great night. I'm out. Peace.